This is the third part of the analog console series and this one is going to be all about uh, the wiring here in the studio and how we integrated uh, so far the console in our workflow. So to get things started, in the live room we have uh, 16 XLR inputs on a box uh, on the one side of the room and an additional 4 XLR inputs on the other side. On both panels we also have uh, two headphone outputs and really soon I'm going to add uh, some mono returns uh, for uh, reamping and stuff like that. Those XLR inputs come directly to the XLR ins uh, of the console through a multi cable that runs inside the walls. And uh, on the console, as I said in the previous video, we are using 16 channels to have available while recording. So, what we get from the console are the mic pre's, and also we can use the EQ on each channel while we are recording, which is something that we are experimenting with right now, and uh, it has mainly positive results. After that, uh, using the direct out on each channel, we are going straight to a normal patch bay, which uh, essentially bridges uh, the console with the audio interface and the ADAT expansion we are using right now. The reason we use the patch bay is that we can take any channel we want and we can uh, run it uh, through an outboard processor of which we have very few right now but uh, it gives us the option in the future if we want to expand. From the patch bay using a TRS uh, multi-cable we are going directly to the audio interface which is a Presonus Studio 192 as well as the ADAT preamplifier which is also a Presonus Digimax D8, it's an older model. As far as uh, the recording inputs are concerned, this is right now our setup. We also use another two channels to have returns from the computer to the analog console in order to create Q mixes for anyone recording in the room. And the next step is going to be to connect the outputs from the audio interface back into the console so that we can also mix uh, through the linings that it has. This is something that I am right now experimenting with because uh, before buying all of those cables we want to see if it is actually worth it. Going over to the aux and bass section of the console, right now we are using it to create uh, Q mixes for the musicians in the live room. So the first four auxiliary outputs are connected to the headphone amplifier, which then goes to the outputs inside the live room. And there are also another two auxes that are right now used for effects mainly. When we are recording, for example, if uh, the vocalist wants to use a reverb or delay pedal on the voice, but not record it. This is another part of the console that we do not know exactly what we are going to do about because if we use the console for mixing, we want to use the auxes as groups also so that we can sum mixes through them. Another part of the console that is currently not uh, used frequently is the master section because we want to find a way to connect the speakers when we are using the console and disconnect them when we are not so that we do not have to have the console on all the time. This is something that is going to be done through the patch base, but uh, I haven't found the time to do it yet. So this is a quick rundown of how we have integrated the console so far here in our studio. Of course, there are some uh, things that uh, we have not yet tried. For example, we, ha we haven't patched the inserts of the console so that we can use compressors and stuff like that in line. And also there is the matrix section which I do not think we are going to use and to be honest I frankly do not completely understand yet. But yes, I'm trying to find an efficient way to do an A-B comparison of how it sounds to record through the console versus the audio interface so that uh, I, first of all, can find out uh, if this whole thing is worth it. As far as the workflow goes, it is something that uh, at first is a bit complicated for us uh, that we are used to working in the box, uh, but uh, little by little as we get the hang of it, uh, it is very intuitive and very fun to work on, which is something uh, that we were looking forward to. That's all for today. I will do an update on a console if we decide to connect the line in so that we can use it also for mixing and when I find the best way to do some sound samples with it. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Dalam and I'll see you in the next one.